So who is Osiris? His exile, his relationship with Ikora, the Vanguard, Saint-14, and the Curse of Osiris story. Let's begin at some point after the Battle of the Six Fronts with the formation of the Vanguard and his exile. Saint-14, Osiris, and Andal Brask are the Vanguard. Ikora is Osiris' apprentice, Kate 6 is a bounty hunter doing his own thing out in the field, and the speaker is the creepy dictator preacher of the last city. Anything he says goes. Anything. Osiris began to gain a following among the people of the last city when he was pretty vocal about disagreeing with the speaker. The word started spreading about his research and his belief that the Traveler wasn't what we all thought. That the death of the Traveler when Nesarek, disciple of the Witness, attacked the last city during the collapse was a blessing to humanity. Even though the Traveler created the ghost that gave humanity a second chance, he had brought so many enemies to our doorstep. The Fallen, the Hive, the Cabal, and the Vex. All these ideas conflicted with what the speaker has been preaching to the people. But the Vex was the main interest for Osiris. As we all know, the Vex are our favorite time traveler space robots, and they have been trying to find the perfect timeline where they become the final shape, or the last one standing in the universe. Osiris became obsessed with studying the Vex, as he saw them as humanity's true enemy. To him, all other foes have a chance to tire and die. The Vex don't, they don't tire, and when killed they simply multiply. He believes the Vex are the only race we will have to fight for longer than forever. Forever is linear, he said. And the Vex are time travelers, complicating things even more and fueling his obsession. The speaker began to notice the growth of Osiris' following, even as Osiris did not want to have anything to do with him. The cultists began to twist his words. So Osiris thought the best way to avoid this was to write everything down. Ikora wasn't a fan of this idea. She thought anything he wrote would be treated as holy text. But Osiris saw himself as a researcher, offering the people of the last city with facts and truth, so he still went with it and wrote everything down in a book. This move backfired on Osiris, as copies of his prophecies, as the followers called them, were being sold on the streets of the last city, and this was the last straw for the speaker. Saint-14 tried to talk Osiris into not continuing his research on the Vex, and focus on protecting the last city as the warlock vanguard that he was, and also because the speaker was showing some concerns about Osiris. As Osiris was spending more and more time on his research, Ikora began to step in for vanguard duties to represent Osiris and the warlocks. At some point before the Battle of Twilight Gap, the vanguard received a message from Kate 6 about the location of the leader of the fallen House of Kings. It was our friend Tanix, but Osiris wasn't there to help come up with the plan, upsetting the speaker. There's another great story there about Kate and Tanix and how he became the Hunter Vanguard, but that's for another video. The speaker had enough of Osiris' obsession and ordered every single book sold around the city to be retrieved and burned. Osiris was then exiled from the Vanguard and the last city. This brings us to Mercury. The speaker becomes aware that Osiris is on Mercury and in fear that he might provoke the Vex, he sends Saint-14 to find Osiris and stop him. Saint-14 arrives on Mercury and enters the Infinite Forest where Osiris is believed to be spending most of his time researching. The Infinite Forest is a planet-sized prediction engine created by the Vex on Mercury, where they are capable of exploring trillions of possible timelines so they can predict their enemies' every move and come out on top. Osiris has become a master at navigating the forest, but Saint-14 immediately gets lost in there, and ends up spending years fighting Vex looking for Osiris. He defeated countless Vex until the Vex figured out a way to create a Vex mine able to suppress his light, with the only purpose to defeat Saint. This is how Saint-14 died in the infinite forest, in some random timeline while looking for Osiris. We began our vanilla destiny story with Saint-14 dead, Osiris exiled on Mercury researching, and our new vanguard, Ikora, Zavala, and Kate 6 The speaker dies during the Red War invasion of the last city, at a point where many citizens had stopped believing his word, and he revealed before he died that the Traveler never spoke to him, but he spoke for the Traveler. Yeah, he was basically a fraud. The Curse of Osiris story begins with Osiris and Sagira exploring yet another timeline simulation soon after Gaul's defeat in the Red War, and the Traveler's burst of light that reach every corner of the universe. This time, Osiris sees something through a Vex portal, a dark future, and the Vex in the simulation become aware of Osiris' and Sagira's presence. The Vex have learned to sense light, most likely due to the light that reached them when the Traveler defeated Gaul. 
Osiris, in a desperate move, pushes Sagira through the portal and he stays behind fighting the Vex. One of Ikora's hidden agents finds Sagira on Mercury and brings her to Ikora, which to Ikora was bad news about her teacher, Osiris. So Ikora asks us to go to Mercury and find Osiris with hopes that he's alive and we can get him to come back to the last city now that the speaker's gone. We arrive and meet Brother Vance, one of the followers of Osiris and his biggest fan. He guides us to the entrance to the Infinite Forest, which is locked of course, and we fight the Vex pouring in from different timelines, past, present, and future Vex. We clear the entrance to the lighthouse where Brother Vance is hiding, and he tells us that the followers of Osiris in a hidden temple on Earth must know a way to revive Sagira. We reach the radio tower where the temple is hidden, but the temple was attacked by the Fallen before we got there, and all the fans of Osiris killed. Ghost inspects a tablet and places Sagira in it. Sagira comes back and fuses with our ghost, temporarily. They were sharing the same ghost shell, she said. Now that we have Sagira guiding us, she tells us that Osiris saw something in the infinite forest that terrified him. She also explains that Osiris created copies of himself with Vex technology so he could explore multiple timelines at once, so we might run into these reflections of Osiris sooner or later. We begin to run into reflections constantly telling us that we shouldn't be there, that Vex can sense light and that puts everything Osiris has worked for in danger, but Sagira knows that without her Osiris could die. The reflections of Osiris guides us through the infinite forest as they explain how Mercury went from being a garden world in the past, a paradise constructed by the Traveler, into a Vex prediction engine controlled by a single Vex, Panoptes. These reflections have been navigating countless timelines trying to find the one where we succeed at defeating Panoptes with no success. Next we are shown the dark future Osiris saw. No light or dark, no life, the sun is dead, and the lighthouse is in ruins. Right before, we're introduced to Panoptes himself, and we escape that timeline. We head back to Ikora and we explain everything we found out about the forest, so she sends us to Io, to the Pyramidian Strike, where she believes the Vex must have some sort of map of the Infinite Forest. If we find this map, we'll know the location of Panoptes. We find the conflux to analyze at the end of the strike, and we find no map, but only coordinates for a node inside the Infinite Forest where Sagira believes we'll find the map. So we are back on Mercury, and now we have to deal also with Cabal there. Survivors of the Almighty, which makes sense since the Almighty was in relatively close proximity to the Sun and Mercury. In the Infinite Forest, looking for the node, we jump into the Tree of Probability Strike. The Vex know we're looking for the map, so they're redirecting the Cabal in the simulation to destroy this map, so we can't find Panoptes. We meet Carthion, Archival Mind, the protector of the map. A Vex Minotaur right before we reach the map who gets immediately destroyed by some Cabal dude dropping in. Valus Thun. This Cabal Centurion led an expedition into the Infinite Forest in the early days of the Red War, looking for the same map we're looking for. They got caught in a combat loop with the Vex, and then manipulated by the Vex to destroy the map instead. We defeat him with no problem and reach the map, only for Sagira to realize she doesn't have enough power to search a constantly changing map. We need to look for Vex mines on Nessus to help us search the map. We search the map again on Nessus with no success. Ikora then has the best idea, to look in the past instead of the future. Look for the code that created Panoptes in the past and then run a simulation forward in time. So we head back to the infinite forest, to the past this time, to the strike a garden world, where we can find the algorithm that created the infinite forest and Panoptes. We reach the end and we find the location of Panoptes who suddenly appears in that timeline takes Sagira and kicks us out of the forest. To get back into the forest, we seek the help of Ikora since we cannot open it without Sagira, and we rush to find Panoptes before Osiris does. We find Panoptes and as we're about to be deleted from the forest, the reflections of Osiris show up to help, providing us with arc charges to take down his defenses and defeat him. We exit the infinite forest to meet Ikora waiting for us, and we finally meet Osiris in game. Ikora and Osiris have their moment, we invite Osiris to come home with us, to which he declines, and goes back into the forest to keep researching the Vex and maybe find a way to bring back his partner Saint-14. It took some time for him to gather enough resources inside the forest to create a sundial and bring back Saint-14, but that's another story. There it is my friends, I hope you enjoyed the story of Osiris in the Curse of Osiris DLC. 
Osiris is an important character in the Lightfall expansion, and his knowledge of the Vex will come in very handy for the final shape. I didn't even go into the whole Savathun storyline, but if you want a video on that, let me know. I have a video on the Red War and Forsaken stories if you're interested in learning more on those. If you like this type of content, a like and heavy attack on the subscribe button is greatly appreciated. Let me know in the comments if there's anything super important I might have missed, or any suggestions on topics you'd like me to cover. I thank you all for your viewership, my name is Tavius Plays, and if you'd like to watch other informative Destiny videos, you can click here.